I am honored to welcome Dr. Pereira to the Heinz Awards conversation this morning. Dr. Pereira. My topic is prenatal exposure to air pollution, child health and development. Uh, I will first just summarize what many of you are experts in. We'll have some speakers who will bring this home to us in great detail. The fact that uh, air pollution in Pittsburgh is high. Pittsburgh ranking sixth nationally in terms of particle pollution. These are the fine respirable particles that are inhaled deep into the lungs and are uh, most toxic. Uh, and black carbon, uh, on the right, you see a very nice uh, map from a study at, by Carnegie Mellon, black carbon pollution distribution in Pittsburgh. And you can see the red is high, high levels. So what? Well, the air pollutants have been associated in many studies with adverse health effects in children. And not just allergy and asthma, which we will be hearing about, and those are extremely serious. Uh, uh, health outcomes, but also with infant mortality, low birth weight, uh, alert, uh, neurodevelopmental disorders, and even our studies are showing, and now followed by others, obesity in children. So we're concerned about this, about these very early exposures prenatally and in early childhood. As Michelle mentioned, children absorb and retain much more uh, of toxics than mothers do. Uh, during pregnancy or in childhood. Uh, they have immature biological mechanisms of defense that are operating in us. We can, quite most of us, can quite effectively detoxify chemicals and also repair the damage to DNA. But those systems in the fetus and young child are immature, not effectively functioning. Where we looked at the combined effects of prenatal exposure to PAH, and mater mat material hardship, that is poverty during pregnancy. The mothers were asked, have you lacked adequate food, shelter, clothing during your pregnancy? And the women who reported higher levels of material hardship sustained, their children sustained mo the, the mo more serious effects on IQ. Um, economic benefits, very briefly, we did estimate the increase in lifetime earnings this was for the low income, uh, each cohort of low income babies in New York City. Um, based on our study of exposure to PAH prenatally and IQ reduction, we calculated how much uh, lifetime earnings would be gained if we reduced air pollution exposure by 25%, really small reduction. And just for this one uh, of low income babies, one cohort, uh, so this would be repeated each year. The gain in lifetime earnings was 250 million. So this suggests that even a, a modest reduction will have important economic gains as well as health gains. 